I'm Doug Orville. I've known you since uh, my sophomore year of college, I think. So That's freshman right. year of college at Centenary. Uh, no, not Centenary, Cena Hall. That's where I go to, with Cena Hall uh, University. He's my brother. I'm John Robert Orville, his little brother. That's a funny uh, story when I you met him. I met you when I was, what, 17, 18, 16? In Brooklyn or uh, in Queens? In Brooklyn, I believe. Queens. I think it was in Brooklyn or Queens. Yeah. Might have been in Queens. Yeah, on a quite an interesting adventure of a night. We had some good times. Yeah. We saw NTM. That's right. That's and there was right. some Wu Tang Clan there that night too. Yeah, that's right. Which was pretty epic. Yeah. It's it's a good night when there's. And that's Wu-Tang. actually one of the ways we connected was like like re- well we like because like you had, had stopped using social media for a bit and then I remember you popped up and it was like a week before we were doing that festival where NTM was playing and I was like Doc I gotta tell you bro I'm playing <laughs> at the same festival as NTM over ride. Right. Practically made some like like the French national anthem like their own version. That's yeah. When you think NTM like French national anthem. Yeah, they're borderline. Drunk, bro. It's, they're it's, drunk. it's it's impressive. Right. And so we've got this uh, this uh, theme on our album called Lose Your Ties, and of course, like you know, it has something to do with the past and my past and, and all of our past and sort of. But we think that it, it reverberates kind of like, a, or at least it, it can be. Uh, uh, it has it can resonate with a lot of other people as well. And so we're asking people the question of what does Lose Your Ties mean to you, like that theme. Mm. Lose your ties. Uh, being able to let go of the past so you can grow into the next part of your future, take that next step. I think people are always trying to uh, figure out how to get to be big, be something else that uh, be more than what you are. You know, you're always looking for the betterment, but if you're always holding on and you're clinging on to things too much, you get anchored down and carry burdens on your shoulders. And to be able to let that go is what it, uh, it's going to take for everybody to get to that next step. And we all have to do it in our own way. Pretty, uh, it's pretty miraculous and uh, that's life. I agree. Um, along the lines of not having something to hold yourself back or hold yourself down and being able to recognize that and move forward on that and really progress through the world in a number of ways, whether it's culturally or socially, um, it's a hard thing to recognize, I think, the things around you that will hold you down and prevent you from moving forward in whatever case that you might think so. So, I, I like. Like, I think you can elaborate on something a little bit more too that you've been kind of like nomadic like right. in the last uh, I don't know how long but like for some time yeah. what's that what's been the motivation for that what's been the reason for that because like obviously we're kind of like that too and we like to always ask uh, like, for right. people like, really like, kind of, like I don't have a home right now I'm kind right. of bouncing from place to place like but uh, you still very point. much have your, your your life together in a way. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not like you're you know, you're totally lost and, and there's there's right. you're lost on purpose. You know right. what I mean? And yeah. so the question is why? Like okay. what what's that about? Um, forever learning. There's always experience out there to acquire knowledge. Whether that's again, as I was saying, in whatever directions you can learn so much out in the world and things that you would have never even fathom to understand before, you can be opened up to. I mean, there's a whole world out there, so just being one location, one little one little area, you can only learn so much, I think, and by expanding outward and whatnot. And at times, it's definitely hard for some people, I think, to let go of course what they're comfortable to, whether it's friends, a location, um, the convenience store down the street, something as easy as that. But being able to go past all that, you'll really open up to a lot more than what's out there. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. And you, last question. Uh, so you've been like, when I knew you, you were also like kind of an adventure guy. You know what I mean? You were always um, diving or you know doing uh, karate or martial arts or something like that. And it's you know I think that sort of plays into this theme as well. And I wanted to know like, okay, now that it's more for my personal interest as well, is, is like how it has that, where has that adventure taken you and where do you feel like it's continuing to take you going forward? It's, uh, it's, that's the question I think everybody has to ask themselves. Why are you doing what you do? And I think the best answer for anybody is, do you love it? You know, uh, I love what I do every day. It definitely is a good reason to wake up and to feel like you can back it up with your morals, your sense of duty, your purpose in life, and uh, what could be better than that, you know? And making sure that you should live your life like you're a king. I actually believe you're gonna, 
everyone's going to rule the world in their own way. You don't have to possess anybody. We don't have to take over lands or conquer anything. But ruling the world to me means taking grasp of every opportunity, like just getting on stage. <laughs> I believe I'm gonna jump out of a lot of things uh, yeah. before it's over. So that's yeah, fine. that's it. We want to grasp and face life and death, and ask yourself, what's the point if I don't do this right now? Right. So, fair play. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Have fun and love what you do.